Hello, my name is Larathon Karu, and as you can see, I've been made homeless. <laughs> no, um, it has been a long old while since my last video. Um, there have been numerous reasons for that, not least of which is work. Just trying to get away from that and have enough time to actually be, be, be motivated to record a video. It's just not possible at the moment. But, and I'm going to endeavour to make weekly videos now. So what I'm going to hope to do is record on the weekend, get it processed and have it out by Sunday evening. GMT, bear in mind. But anyway, enough of that. Enough of now what you see in front of you. Tech it is gone. We have decided that we've all become rather bored of Tech it. Um, we've been playing it for a good four or five months now. Is anyone dizzy from me standing around in circles? We were playing it for about four or five months now. And, well... After playing the same thing for so long, you just get bored. So, we have switched to something similar, but not quite. Feed the Beast. This has been dubbed as the Technic Multiplayer. To me, it won't be the Technic Multiplayer until Thorncraft is made, but... Never mind, that's just me. And Red Power. Red Power isn't in this. Which sucks. Um, it's still the same server, as you can see. We've still got Art Rich and uh, Rich's son on here as well. Chris is about. Chris will be recording his own series as well, which I'll be joining in with. Um, not sure when that starts. Um, so yeah, I need to start my timer. Still keep forgetting to do that. So what I'm going to be doing is doing the usual starting up. I've been playing for about an hour now. Um, I've gotten some guff. I have did find a village, which is a button, F5. And they had some bronze armor in it. I didn't even know that you could find bronze armor in the um, Ujima flips, bro blacksmiths, but you can. This is what I've managed to get so far. Quite a lot of food, thankfully. Bees. I really, 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 really want to do bees. Um, some carrots and potatoes. Because why not? And that's pretty much all of the useful stuff. The stuff you won't have seen before, of course, from the bees and honeycombs. We'll get to that later, and the scoops. This. Pocket crafting table. It's just made with a stick and a crafting table, and it's fucking amazing. Basically, you get it out, you right-click it, and there's your, cra your crafting table. Inside your inventory. This is actually your inventory. Just, yeah. Um, really cheap to make. Should be the first thing you make. If you do not make this first, you're a pleb. I would also recommend getting a, a large amount of leather. That's obviously not a large amount, but it's enough of what I need. Uh, what else? Quicksand. I only just found this. This is pretty awesome. You just put it down, and you start sinking. And you cannot get out. You can move, but that's it. It's the only way I've found to get out is to break a block next to it. And you just move into that. It's annoyingly hard to destroy. And I can see some very annoying griefer traps with that. But oh well. Oh shit, shouldn't do that. There's a spider on my roof. Obviously we're in 1.4.2. So we've got the new sounds. We've got logs on the sides. We've got fences. All that lovely stuff. So yeah. And... Bear in mind, I got this from a drop from a skeleton. They dropped a bat damage one, which is annoying, but oh well. Um, excuse me, need to twitch my ear, which means my microphone's further away, so you can't hear me. Now you can. Isn't that so much more pleasurable? Right, so. I need to wait until day, really, and go mining. So. I'm back. Okay, so. Waiting for day. It's boring. I've decided to fuck it. As in, I'm going to go mining. Not that I'm going to go shag the sunrise. Just to clear that up. Because I know what some of you dirty bastards are like. Probably shouldn't call my viewing audience dirty bastards. Probably won't increase my standing. Hada! Ah, I have bested your foul beast. I did find a cave over here. There it is. So let's go mine it out. 
It's going to be Country and Western again. Ooh, I want to go over there as well. That's a new biome. This is also a new biome. Part of the biomes, extra XL. And that's a new biome. In fact, it's very hard to find an original biome. <laughs> that is a red rock biome. And I will have to go over there at some point because I love the red rock. And that is a pine biome, I'm guessing. Or spruce, I don't know. But fucking big trees. And this is a tall marshland. It's not the real name. The real name is Green Swamplands. But I call it the Tall Marshland. Not to be confused with the Tall Marshal. Lovely person from How I Met Your Mother. So I'm just getting some cobble to better my house. As you can see, it was only built two blocks high by some pleb who had nothing better to do. <coughs> Me. Um, <laughs> I need to pretty it up. One thing I should say as well, before I was saying that the server I was on was open and anyone could join, we have changed that. We have brought on a whitelist, mainly because one of the reasons we all stopped playing on the server is we were fed up with the fucking little kids whining non-stop. <laughs> Some person broke my block. It's just a fucking digital block. Stop getting in a tizzy. So... We've just put a whitelist on. We've been very harsh with with whitelist applications as to who's going to be allowed in, who's not. Even regulars are put under this, a similar strenuous, um, rigorous thing. There is an appropriate finish to that sentence. It's just completely eluding me. Oh well. Um... I'm sure you're all used to that by now if you've ever watched any of my previous videos. Oh wait, I don't have any previous. I've got the Tekkit series and fuck all else. Ah, uh, Memories. <laughs> so yeah, right. I suppose I should start mining down. Strike the earth, as it were. Oh god, I love Dwarf Fortress. Um... I have experimented with a couple of the new mobs, mods, like factorization and Steve's Carts. Um, I've got a basic understanding of what's going on there. I haven't really understood what factorization can do that can't be done by a macerator. Because the chances of it actually... Oh, I'll explain to it when I get the resources. Fuck you. For now, it's just mining time! Ah, uh, Yeah. There are some very cool things going on with this mod pack, though. And the fact that it's in the new, latest version of Minecraft as well, all the better. So, right. If this isn't boring to watch, let me know, because you're obviously in dire need of, of some excitement in your life. This is even boring to do. Can't imagine sitting there watching... 10 15 minutes of this. Oh, wait, this is going to be over a half hour video. <laughs> it's all going to be basic Minecraft stuff. What I am hoping to show you, though, is some of the new ores. Um, there won't be any new terrain generation underground, as far as I know. What was that? It sounded like someone was walking on sand. Shouldn't do that. Oh, fucking lighting glitches. Right, let's just mine this coal, because we need coal. And of course, with the new update of Minecraft, we get experience on mining! Yay! No more mob traps. Not that I've ever set one up. Only because I don't really know how they work. Well, I'd tell a lie. I do know how they work, it's just I never had the effort to go ahead and make one. Because that is a lot of planning. Uh... I'm going to ignore it, because it's probably bad things. It might even be that bat I can hear, just occasionally brushing some dirt so it plays the walking sound.
what I need is some iron, really. Because a lot of the new ores require iron to be mined. Oh, more coal. Always useful. Now, a couple of the changes since Tech It to FTB, Feed the Beast. Um, a lot of the machines are a lot harder to acquire now. The resources aren't as, abund as abundant as they once were. They are also... F oh, Christ. They are also full of item ID glitches and all sorts. This is still a mod pack in its beta. So, it's far from finished. I don't have a sword. This is... Oh, Christ! Fuck you! Oh, that's right. We turned him off. Iron. Ooh, be scandy. Tin? Is this actually tin? I should also point out, this, um... This texture pack is not freely available. It's, uh, Sfax. It's a compilation made by a friend of the admins. Thank you, Blade Kiss. Um, you may recognise that name. He has been on the, uh... Tech It Let's Play a couple of times before. Um... This is something he spent a good couple of hours downloading all the separate Sfax add-ons he could find. It's not comprehensive yet. There are still a few mod packs which are missing. Um, but that was a sec the same could be said for the Tekkit version as well, so... It doesn't really matter. Steve's Carts, is, it doesn't have it. You saw some of the... I, I don't know if I actually showed it. Some of the um, UIs don't have it. Oh, excuse me. Whenever I talk for a long period of time, I have to, have to yawn. It's more copper. Did I actually get some tin? I did. Okay. Right. So where was my exit? There's my exit. Right. Time to fuck off. For coffee. <sighs> and it's raining. And we don't have map moss to be able to turn off the rain. Uh, let me get inside and do the sound effects. Right, where is that? Oh, that's right, it doesn't have Optifine. Bollocks. Who's on? Fuck it. Because I can't stand the fucking rain, it's loud and obnoxious. Alright, where are we? Absolutely nowhere. Let's make three more pickaxes. That is not a pickaxe. That is a pickaxe. You call that a knife? This is also a knife. I love that quote. Get rid of my useless wooden tools. Won't burn for very long anyway, so. Whatever. Oh, actually. I do need some more torche. Right, I'm going to keep my coal. There is a reason for that, and I'll come back to it later. Uh, lots of wood. The annoying thing about this biome is all the trees are far too tall to mine from standing up. So that gets on my tits a bit. I didn't get any food. I need food, because otherwise I'm going to starve down here and have to come back really quickly, and it's just going to be annoying and a Pain in the arse and 
All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Guff. Potato. Um. Yeah, I'm going to be doing my series mainly alone. I will join in with uh, Chris's one every now and again. Um, let's tip the pork. Love a bit of pork. But I want to do just a solo effort at the moment. See what I can make. Explore the add-ons. One thing I hate more than anything is people trying to tell me how to do it, though. Hate that. I want to explore these add-ons, find out how to work them, and just do it. Not have someone say, oh, you should have done this or that, it would have been 50% more efficient. I don't give a fucking rat's ass. If I fuck up, I want to fuck up on my own accord, learn from it, and not do it again. That's why I get really annoyed with these people who keep asking on how to do things. Find out for yourself. It stays in your brain when you find out for yourself. There's a mob spawn in here, here isn't there? I'm so going to get ambushed. I'm so going to freak out when I do. Ah, a speed ray. Now this is pretty standard tech it starts, you need a fuck ton, sorry let's use the sips turn on terminology, a metric shit ton of copper, told you, of copper and tin. Now tin is insanely valuable in this mod pack, and of course it is abundantly rare. By that I mean you can never find the bloody stuff when you need it. It goes all the way to lava. What's that white thing? Oh, something moving across it. I'm not going to pay attention to it. I'm going to ignore it. Because it's scary. This is this is something new. But not if you're ever familiar with forestry. It's appetite. Appetite is used to make hummus. Not the edible kind. Um, and I think that's pretty much it, really, with appetite. Make hummus. Oh, you can also make stamps. One N. What else can you do with it? That's it. Make hummus and make stamps. Because why the fuck not? What the fuck is one N? Oh dear. Oh well. That's something we will do in, in the end, because this is going to be quite an exclusive server. So, we will have mailboxes set up. It won't be a PvP or griefing server, though, because we're going to be whitelisted. Okay, eventually, we will fuck up. Let some little pre-Madonna prick on the server. He'll try and grief me. Probably succeed. And I won't give a shit. Because this is a recorded play. So if they try to steal my stuff, I'll just creative it all back again. whoop de frickin do Oh, and we're going to have core protect, so I'll have, be able to name and shame for all you server owners out there who aren't watching my videos. Um, any players? That's something I think we, that is actually needed. A public list of bannings. I know there is that um, MC player Ujima flip, but that only works on certain servers that actually have that mod installed. It would be nice if we had a global database that was held by Mo Mojang to play it when players got banned. Fuck you! Ooh, rain. Real rain this time, not the shitty Minecraft rain. Wow. <laughs> yeah, super manly. I really don't know if that rain is going to come through on the recording, but it's quite heavy. Hello, Mr. Bat.
God. I really want to edit that scream out. And now that I've said that, I can't because everyone's going to be like, what scream? <laughs> Fucking hell, that was, um, that's embarrassing. I should point out that I am actually a coward. Very much so. Oh, fuck a dingo. Oh, that was the source block. Fucking hell, Bat, you scared me. I want a pet bat. Is there a way to tame bats? There should be a way. I want a pet bat. Follows me around and carries a chest. Or a coconut. Now the question is, is it an African or European bat? Everyone who gets that reference gets a cookie. Of course, just about everyone should get that reference. Because the source material was hardly <laughs> unknown. I'm also related to one of the source material. Throw that one out there. Ah! Ow. Yeah, that was more manly, but still. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, Rich and George, his son, are currently building the new spawn. I have had a brief look at it. It looks like a tower. From that. I can't say much more, as I haven't investigated. We'll find out. Currently, the spawn is a hole in the ground. So, yeah, that's a thing. Alright, I can't mine this. This is silver. I need iron pick for that. And the green stuff was uranium. need an iron pick for that as well, but I won't even use it, so I don't even need to mine it. Silver, I will use. And quite a lot of. There is a bloody big use for silver now. Tungsten, as far as I know, has been removed. I haven't seen any. Um, so I'll go through some of the other changes in the industrial craft and build craft. They're the ones that I actually know. I don't know of any changes in build craft, actually. Probably have been. I just can't think of any. Um, industrial craft. Craft. Sorry. Crafting a solar panel now is far more complicated, but the solar panels themselves are better. The second solar panel has an internal storage and can run through the night. Um, basically, it just stores it up and just dishes it out slowly over, through a duration. Um, what is with all these pits? Oh dear. What else is there? I can't remember. Oh, Iridium ore is no longer crafted through UU matter. Um, you now can mine Iridium ore. I, on a previous world, I went mining for about four hours and only ever found one piece of Iridium. So yeah, that's going to be insane to get Quantum now, instead of everyone just having it. You can still make UU. Uh, that's still made in the same sort of fashion, I think. Though there is now all sorts of other machinery, magicry from IC that I have not even looked into. There's an energy trader now, where you can buy energy. Go figure. Uh, God. And I haven't set a home. So getting back is going to be interesting. I also really need to take a break. But I can't. I'm dedicated to you four viewers. Um, yeah, so. For anyone that's interested in joining this server, go to s6techit.com. That website will be changing to S6 Feed the Beast at some point. Because clearly we're not a Tech It server anymore. 
Um, there is a whitelist application page. You go through that. Um, just so there's some transparency as well, what we're going to be doing... Fucking bats. No, no, that's not what we're going to be doing before you report me to some authority. Um, is we have a voting system where admins and owners vote on whether we allow or reject a an application. You won't be aware of any votes. But if we get a certain number of votes, yay or nay, to whether we want you on the server... Yay or nay will happen to your application. Simple as. Um, we are, as I said, we've been much stricter on applications now and who's joining the server as we don't want dickwads on it all the time. Ooh. Um, It's pretty standard questions. How old are you? Uh, would you donate? Have you ever been banned? All we ask is that you be honest, for fuck's sake. Lying will not profit, oh, profit you. benefit you in any fashion. Just don't. It's childish, but then that's the whole point for the whitelist. Stop the children. And so that I don't feel a bit naughty whenever I swear and think, oh god, some people do might actually go to their mummy and complain. Ooh, uh. Now I can say, fuck the lot of you, you dirty cons. Now, <laughs> I would also like to point out that I've been playing Far Cry 3 and we just played some co-op. So the Scottish guy's dialect is stuck in my head at the moment. <laughs> so hence the rudeness. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, what else is there to say? No, really, apart from enjoy the new series. If you can, a like and a comment and a subscription would be nice. Uh, I'm going to go back to me home. I know there was some tin, other tin on there. Oh, it sounded like there was a bat under attack. Oh, well. Go back to me home, set a home, and fuck off. And possibly get some energy drink because I am falling asleep. I can't afford it, but you know. Oh, also, there is something I wanted to ask you. I know I don't have many viewers at the moment, but I am hoping to get change that at some point. So, if I could get you people to advertise my channel a little, just recommend it to friends, so it's good viewing. Would you mind if I did the whole profitization thing? Just to get a few quid in here and there. All that means is that my videos will start with more uh, with adverts. Um... They may do actually do that already, and I have a sneaking suspicion that they do. Um, because it's not like Google to miss out on the chance to make money. Not that I'm being satirical in any way towards them. They're just a money-grabbing bunch of tossers. You know. Businessmen. Ho! Um, that didn't really deserve a ho. I'm sorry about that. I was just a bit excited. To make a satirical joke. Ah, uh, I should be a comedian. I did actually want to be a comedian at one point, but then I realised I'm crap at talking for great lengths. So oh, wait. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yes, would you mind if I did that? Would that have change anyone's opinion of me or make people less... <sighs> less inclined to watch my videos? God, I just can't speak today. Fuck me. You can do that as well if you want, like, obviously females only, men, you can just go fuck yourself. Um, wow, that took a bit of a bizarre twist, I do apologise about that. Right, so, yes, I'm going to leave that with you, leave a comment if you have a response to that. Apart from that, um, I'd love to say sit on my Facebook and suck on my, suck on my Twitter, but I have neither. Actually, tell a lie, I have both, I just don't use them. There is actually a Facebook account for Malarison. People have derail me on Facebook as well. But that's for more for my second life profile. Um, yeah, so. I'll see you next time. Hopefully next week for another edition. I will hopefully make them longer. But nature has intervened. <laughs> that is all I will leave you with. Bye. Merry Christmas.